Opening scene. What happens when we come close to death? Is it the end, or just the beginning of something greater? Near-death experiences, often referred to as NDEs, have fascinated and intrigued people across cultures, raising profound questions about life, death, and the existence of an afterlife. In this video, we explore five of the most compelling near-death experience testimonies that might make you reconsider everything you think you know. Our first testimony comes from Dr. Eben Alexander, a neurosurgeon who spent decades dismissing the possibility of an afterlife until his own life hung by a thread. After contracting a rare form of meningitis, Dr. Alexander slipped into a deep coma. During this time, he claims to have experienced an extraordinary journey, an experience he could only describe as heavenly. Dr. Alexander, clip. I found myself in a place filled with light, colors beyond imagination, an overwhelming peace. A woman I never knew guided me, showing me that love is the essence of everything. When he awoke, his entire perspective on life and consciousness had shifted. The experience convinced him that consciousness transcends the physical body. Anita Morjani's story is another mind-boggling experience. Diagnosed with terminal cancer, she slipped into a coma in 2006, with her body failing. During her near-death experience, Anita remembers being surrounded by a glowing light and an overwhelming sense of love. Anita Morjani, clip. I felt like I was in a tunnel, moving toward a bright light. I heard a voice, maybe my higher self, telling me that it wasn't my time. I had a choice to return, and if I did, I would heal. Miraculously, she woke up and her cancer went into remission. Doctors were baffled, but Anita believes it was her near-death experience that enabled her full recovery. Don Piper's near-death experience occurred after a tragic car accident in 1989. Declared dead for 90 minutes, Don describes entering heaven and being greeted by his deceased family members. Don Piper, clip, they all looked so radiant, so happy. My grandfather, a childhood friend, people I hadn't thought about in years were there to welcome me. The love and joy in that place were indescribable. Though Don was pulled back to life after those 90 minutes, his vivid memories of heaven and reuniting with his loved ones have stayed with him, giving him unwavering faith in the afterlife. Colton Burpo was just four years old when he had his near-death experience during emergency surgery for a ruptured appendix. After recovering, he began telling his parents about his trip to heaven, where he met Jesus and saw angels. Colton Burpo, clip. I saw Jesus, and he had a big smile on his face. I also met my sister, who died before I was born, and I didn't even know about her until then. Colton's innocence and vivid descriptions of a place he could not have imagined at such a young age left his family and millions of others in awe, as chronicled in the best-selling book, Heaven is for Real. Finally, we have the testimony of Howard Storm, a former atheist and university professor who had a profound near-death experience after a life-threatening illness. He recalls being led by dark, sinister entities before being rescued by beings of light who showed him his life's review. Howard Storm, clip. I saw every moment of my life, the good and the bad. It was like a movie and I felt everything, every hurt I caused others and every act of kindness. It was a powerful lesson. This experience transformed Howard's life. He emerged a changed man, dedicating his life to spirituality and kindness convinced that our actions here have eternal consequences. These five testimonies offer us a glimpse into the unknown. Whether these experiences are metaphysical or products of the mind is a matter of personal belief. But for those who have lived through them, the message is clear. Love, peace, and connection are at the heart of existence. Have you ever had a near-death experience or know someone who has? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, keep searching for the light. End of video.